the eraser tool. So the eraser is your rubber tool. All right, now the eraser can be used to erase anything. So say for example, I go back to my highlighter page, which we covered in stuff. I can go to my eraser and I can rub that out. You'll note that it will not rub out text and it will not rub out images. It will only rub out what has been inked with the highlighter and the pen, which can be handy. Okay, so if I just go back to my play, pen, play an icon and get back to my eraser. Another way you can use the eraser is to put an image on the page and then use the eraser, use a pen to colour over. So I've got an image, I've got a pen and I've... Wrong colour, honestly. Let's get a nice chunky pen and hide it. I'm going to try and make it the same colour as the background. But for the purposes of demonstration, I shan't today. Use your eraser, ask your students to come up and tell you what they reckon the story is by just revealing parts of the situation. Obviously it might have been more fun to have started in the left corner and said, well, what are all of these things? And then to develop the narrative until eventually they work out that we're in space in a spaceship. Um, it's quite interesting to see what they come up with and what they think all these things are. And it's a really nice way of um, introducing a topic just by using ink and an eraser. So there's a little tip, it's quite handy. Okay, the fill tool. The fill tool or bucket tool, because it looks a bit like a bucket of paint, will allow you to change the colour of, of, of objects on your page, including your background. So if I select my fill tool, you can see here that it tells you to use the colour picker from the main menu. Well, that's all the way down the bottom here in the right hand corner. OK, so if I choose the colour that I want on the inside, I can either choose from these blobs or I can make my own colour along here. Or I've got the colour picker which means pick that up, click somewhere, and you see how that square changed colour. Let's do that again on a different thing, let's go on the black. Can you see how the colour picker works? Great if you want to use your football colours on the background of the page. Just paste in the icon and go from there. <laughs> okay, and then on the outside here, I'm going to go with a bit of white. A tick. Okay, so now I've got my bucket all ready to go. Let's uh, have a go. Can I use the fill color? Can I use the fill tool to color in the five times table? So five times table, pink and white. So you know how this works. We can make our number squares. Okay. Um, this number square, by the way, was generated by one of the widgets, so I didn't have to do any hard work there at all. I've also got an extension that asks me to pull this across. Try different times tables and different colors. So we could use this to change the color. How do I change the colour so I can do my threes? Well, I come across into the bottom corner and I pick a different colour. And then, oh, dearie me, undo quickly. <laughs> Three, six, nine, twelve, up, oh, yep, yeah, okay. So you get the idea of using the bucket tool to just make things stand out or to change the colour of things. So let's go back home. <laughs> 